went to Phoenix, you know, he was feeling good. Everything was, I mean, it was clicking. Stewart is down. Down hard. After that first crash, like, I pretty much knew that my season was done. The bone is broken. I think it needs to be treated. It needs surgery. You out of the equation, and it's all open now. The rookie is the champ! Supercar season is over. And there is a possibility that he's going to race in 2010 outdoor. And he's still focused on the last four outdoors at least. If he does the last four outdoors, he's got to prove that, hey, I am your number one guy. I still got it. He's a racer, and he wants to race. I don't plan on going back and just being like another guy out there. Like, I see what I got to race against, and those guys are good. But I feel like I'm better. You know, I just want to go shut a lot of people up. You know, I've been preaching that to James for a long time. You can't race forever. So you don't feel the body pain. Well, you're... stop fighting. Well, I can't. Gee. Because you're making me uncomfortable. You're stressing yourself out. You got guys that never gonna win a race and thrilled just to be part of a show. James is not like that. Michael Jordan wasn't like that. You know, they want to win. And when they feel they can't win, they feel it's time to go. He knows that there's a time that's gonna end the racing side. He wants to have things set up in the future. When you're out of the sport, what do you do with all this? Okay, pop it off. Go home. Come back, see me in the morning. <laughs> My earliest memory as a child is me on a motorcycle. We were poor, and my parents sacrificed everything to steer me into motocross. We found Florida property in the middle of the ghetto, getting bigger with every race I won, and I won a lot. Today, I'm the most famous racer in the world, the fastest man on the planet, and the first African-American champion in my sport. But last year, I was knocked out of the season due to a serious injury and had to watch my number one plate get taken away. This summer, I'm preparing myself to win back my championship. I'm James Stewart, but some Call me Bubba. The reason I got y'all three in here is because I'm about to start this riding academy. When the Prize family was down, my whole family had a good time like working with them and stuff. Roy, Roy, baby. Roy, Roy, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. You see the difference? It was good because it kind of showed us, like, man, you know what? Maybe one day you can actually start, you know, a training camp. Even when James is racing and uh, he's really busy, he always tried to think for his future when he's not going to race anymore. It's the perfect time, really, because he's got a little time. He's preparing to go to the outdoor himself. A lot of people have, like, the training camp. And honestly, I don't even know what I'm going to I'm going to call mine, like, the camp. Come down to the camp. So I need Malcolm to help the riding part. I can't do no bubble scrub or nothing like that. You just be you, and what you do is wrong. So I can be like, that's not how to do it. <laughs> that's not how to do it. So I can count on you in the school. You, you in? You know you I'm in. in. To make it right, like, I think you need to have a supporting cast. But I need Sonya out there. I'll check my schedule. A lot of times, like, I'll mess with my mom. Like, I call her lazy. But I always do it to, like, just get a row out of it. I can't believe you just telling me about mom was so lazy ever since she finished school. Really? Sonia Stewart! <laughs> They'll jump on the bandwagon, too, and then she'll be so pissed off. I got lazy after school? A little bit. Yeah, you did do that. They want to see me continuously, like, do something all the time work all the time. Well, she got a, a business degree in accounting, and that's all she ever did was, you know, bookkeeping. I got my own thing going. What are you doing? You working? Interior decorator. Ah! You seen that house lately? That's what I'm saying. I ain't listening to you guys. 
I can do it. All right, so I can count on you in the school. I got my own thing. What about me? You went to school for all no, the day. You're taking you know, care of the books. want to see all the books right. I have time for me. I don't have time for that. A count and, and a decorator or two Maybe that's things. what I want to do. What do you think I went to school for? You went to school with me yeah, uh, you for went to school. business, right? Yeah, business. But now you're interior decorator. She crazy. <laughs> James is a fool. He is a fool. Leading up to Unadilla or his return to the outdoors, maybe this James Stewart Motocross Academy will be good for him just to go back to the basic fundamentals of, of outdoor motocross. We have all this knowledge, all this stuff that you can provide for other families that are growing in the sport. Why not use it? He wants to give back in the sport that he loves and, and try to help out in the sport that he loves. He wants to be bigger than just an athlete. He wants to stay involved, and that's that's really cool. The camp really wasn't bothering me for what I was doing, trying to get ready for the race. And I thought it could help me, it could roughen up the track, you know, can get more lines, and it worked out. spent a lot of money building these tracks and building these gyms and all this knowledge of this whole family that has spent every waking moment of their life into racing. Plus it keeps my parents busy, you know, gives them something to do. I don't want to just start a training camp and not have James involved. I don't want to have to do all the work. Basically, I can't be there every day and work on every single thing, but these are the people who help me. Girl, I need some time for myself, for real. That's always good to get some time for you. You work so hard. Man, the track's messed up. I thought he was working on it. That's daddy, baby. Just daddy, baby. And James think he can handle it on his own, all the paperwork and everything. I know your boy's coming down here next week, and I can't find a pen. Uh... He should not be in charge of, like, Anything important, pretty much, when it comes down to the office. I got my mom for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Bob, let me call your bike, man. Apparently, he must got it under control. And they call me lazy. They ain't seen lazy yet. I'm going to show them what lazy is going to be like. I start this interior decorating, and then Sonya's going to disappear. If he seriously, like, switch places with my mom, dude, he, he'll have everybody lost. Man, the track's beat up. You got a lot of work to do. Roxy, we got to have us a real office. Come on, let's go. Big James Office, we all know what it is. It's the motocross, supercross track. What up? What's going on? Man, I thought you was gonna work on the track. I am. I had all that paperwork, I had to get all that stuff lined up. Your team is your family behind you, but at the end of the day, if you fail, all the eggs on your face. A lot of kids pay a lot of money for this, so can't disappoint. There won't be no disappointment, man. It, it's a test. It's a test for them, but we've been doing this stuff for 20-something years. And I know that. I know that. So you got to go easy on it. If you do boot camp, you got to be ready. No exception. Big Jam's going to be hard on anybody. I only know one way of doing it. You come out here like you Mr. GQ and all of that, you ain't nothing. Just be gentle. Let's work him in. Let's give him a day, because the heat's already going to kill him. You didn't turn out so bad. I was gentle with you. Man, I don't think I'm the greatest guy out there, but I think I do know one or two things about training. I mean, everybody ain't like me. You can't do it that way. They want to be like you. That's why they're down here. You came here to be like Baba, then you're going to cry, and you're going to do all the training like Baba. Well, we'll see. I don't know if they want to be like that. I think they want to come down here and just ride. I think that it's going to be hardcore. They want to be pro? This is the place to come. It's a tough world out there, and there's tough love out here at JSE. They can't handle the heat, they need to stay out the kitchen. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people would love, would die, would do anything to be over the fence and just look at a bottle compound. We're not going to go out until Big James says we can. What's up? James is not going to be laying at what? Ever. If Sonya started a new career in something else, I don't think at this point it would have any bearing on James's career. No, construction is not new to me because everything on this property I have designed. Everything. Even Big James's car. 
Hi, Sonia. Hi, girl. How are, How are you? you? This new client I got, I spoke to you on the phone about. I don't know why they call me lazy. I got lazy after school? A little bit. Yeah, you did do that. I'm not nobody made. I'm tired of it. I think we can do that. Perfect. It's really rare to, to be able to come down to the compound to train and stuff. It's a, it's a unique opportunity. I can bet anybody right now, like thousand and thousand and thousand people would love, would die, would do anything to be over the fence and just look at a bubble compound. Oh man, I don't know. Seriously takes y'all forever to get geared up. Better get them ready. <laughs> this is just, you know, a couple of those samples that we have. Oh, okay, do you hold on a second? Let me check this. Oh my God. Big genius. I am not helping that man. Hey, uh, I need your help. I can't, I can't get the computer to work. I mean, you got this filing system down, but I can't find nothing. I'm not helping him. You guys gotta learn to do some of this stuff by yourself. They won't leave me alone. I don't know what's going on. Look, I got lines ringing everywhere. Since I've been with this family, I don't think I've ever seen Big James in an office. If you would like to make a call, please hang up and try again. You guys are all ready, huh? Hey, we're not gonna go out until Big James says we can, all right? His office is the bobcat and the water truck and the walk on the truck and he's, he's the number one. Now inside the office, even Roxy, she's better than him. We're not gonna go out until Big James says we can. What's up? Going good. Going real good. We actually can't get this stupid computer to work though, but other than that, it's been pretty good. He's a pecker. Peck. Peck, peck, peck. You know how to work it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, I'm a geek. <laughs> James is not going to be laying whatsoever. Man, I thought you was going to work on the track. I am. So what's been going on? Work, baby. Nothing but work. It ain't easy. You right. You right. It ain't easy. Man, I'm having a hard time with this training camp. If I can get you to help me with this. Remember you say you didn't need me. Yeah, you didn't need my help. I ain't used to eating crow, it's tough. Yeah, sometimes you gotta eat crow, see? I'm off my high horse now, I really need your help. I got my own stuff I gotta finish up, so. Rebecca, where's the remote to the TV? Well, we tried to get my greatest experience. A crazy life experience. It's more to just riding a motorcycle. What I want to teach a kid is respect. If you do boot camp, you gotta be ready. No exception. Big Jam's going to be hard on anybody. I have my way of thinking. I am the best in the world, and there's a reason why I am. You guys know what you're here for, right? This is not a uh, summer camp for you. You got to be ready to cry. You got to be ready to crash. You got to be ready to be in pain. Respect. That is the number one rule. <laughs> 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 this 
they all were surprised like to see King Kong walking in. Well, it was just instantly like we're gonna set the tone. And I have my way of thinking how I want to do things. A couple rules we got to go over. Well, rule number one: no shoes in the house. Built this house for little James, so I want all you guys to respect it. Respect. That is the number one rule. Time to go to bed. We've got a big day tomorrow. You won't be saying that tomorrow. I am the best in the world, and there's a reason why I am. Like, you just weren't born with it. Like, my dad made me do this stuff, and now, like, it's built in my head to do it. And, you know, I think these kids, you know, he came in here and set the tone, like, look, this is how my son does it. You guys want to be like him? This is how you're going to have to do it. Everybody around here has their own job to do, and I help if they ask me. Man, I'm having a hard time with this training camp. If I can get you to help me. Hey, y'all wake up in here. Time to get up. Kids, rise and shine. We got to work out. You go to college to learn, and she learned about business, and James wants to have a business. So I think the business degree will be beneficial for running a motorsports family. We have to help each other. Oh, don't act like y'all don't hear me. Y'all better get up. Want me to take it out in the gym? Now that she's got the ball rolling, it's probably going to be tough to stop her. Y'all tired? Y'all didn't go to sleep last night? What you doing? Up playing? Maybe. Ooh, I'm going to adore you. Of course, it's going to be military style waking up because you only have so many days with these kids to try to instill into them the work ethic that it takes to become professional. Hey, wake up. Rise and shine. No, it's not. Let's go. It would probably feel more military based to them, but to James and like Malcolm, it's it's normal life. I wake up, this is what I do. I train, I ride. That's my every day. Kids are my biggest challenge. I like that. I like the smart mouth one too. What did I tell you? Get your butt up. Come on. I see you gonna be the one that I'm gonna have to work with the hardest. Well, a lot of people don't understand like how fit you have to be for motocross. People underestimate like how gnarly racing is. Come on, 38, 39. Every person that's on the Stewart camp has a role. I want you on the Stairmaster. I want somebody on the Trickster. I want somebody on these two. Any questions? Nope. Yeah, Big James. He didn't have anything to do with getting him into the gym. My deal is to get him in shape. His deal is to make sure they ride that motorcycle right. Don't be scared. I eat breakfast this morning. I ain't gonna eat you. As you can see, there's a reason why they call him Big James. I don't cross over because I know what I'm there for. Gotta get it done, gotta get it done. Come on, stay on me. Can you keep up? 86 days. Well, you proved it. It is time to go and show what you got. There you go, you wanna win. Bring it together. There you go. What are you doing? Were you just goofing around? No. Why are you smiling? OK. You play around. It's going to show out on the racetrack when you're racing. Understand? I make sure you don't goof around again. 100 sit-ups. We're here to do what? Workout. Exactly. Good exercise, get everything you, done. you guys did really well today. But guess what? Now you gotta go see Big Jim. So what you didn't do here, don't blame me. Because I told you guys not to cheat yourself. You guys know what you're here for, right? This is not a uh, summer camp for you. And it's definitely not mom and dad daycare, okay? You want to go to do the JS7 boot camp? You got to be ready. You got to be ready to cry. You got to be ready to crash. You got to be ready to be in pain. You got to be ready for a lot of things when you cross the gate at the bottom of Kokomo. So we're here to do what? No. Learn. Learn. It won't be fun. This is not a fun camp. This is for learning. All your fun, stop.
Everything's always serious. There actually could be more light around here sometimes, but everything's focused on for one goal, and that's to be the best at whatever they do. You ride elsewhere. We eat, we sleep, and we dream about learning how to be better on our bikes. I may be the man to do it, so don't try to impress me. I feed off results. They don't have to do it. This is what it takes to be the professional. Whether you take these tools when you leave here, it's up to you, but this is what we did, and this is how we got to where we are. That's the way this family runs. That's why they, they're successful and where they're at. Either you're coming here to learn, or there's the gate, get out. We will respect all our equipment. That includes our helmets, our goggles, our boots, and most important, our motorcycle. They didn't spend the money, the parents spent the money and they're not thinking about it. So I want to bring a lot of that to, you know, each one of them attention. We won't have any tempers. If you've done something wrong, take a deep breath, walk away from it. We don't throw our equipment. We don't yell at our parents. Definitely don't yell at Big James. Do I make myself clear? Everybody says they're intimidated by my dad. I look at him, he's just a big old teddy bear. You just punch him in the stomach and watch the feathers come out. Y'all ready to check the track out? Yeah. All right, now get off your bike and let's go check it out. Let's run it. Let's go. Didn't expect to see this, huh? For James to do those training school, even if he's not on a bike, it's kind of like a little good refresh. And we're gonna test your reaction time. Wait till the rock hits the ground, then go. Having all this going on kind of keeps him in the motion of racing and being a part of it. There's one thing that I want to teach you guys. It's called the Bubba Scrub. You forget all the basic fundamentals of what got you there. You can't race forever. My brother is really nervous, counting down the days. Being so stressed out and worried about the race. As soon as they leave, I get my time and we get to go see where we're at. How do you overcome fear? 